میں ایڈیٹ ہو جائیں گے Is it clear? Okay, so let's create a table that will reference our student's table. Hello? So uh, to increase the size of your text, you come here. You come here, you increase either to 200 or 150. So where you have this connected, under it you see numbers. 10%, 100%, sorry, 100%, 150%. So you can increase the size of your text on there. So to create, a table, create table. So the table name should be what? Records, right? So let's put under our schema, human resources dot records. Are we good? So now the table name, open brackets and close. So after that, we'll be having um, what was our primary key calling before? Huh? Uh, ID, integer, followed by course. Character, then links or say twenty, comma. Then the next one is faculty <laughs> or lecturer. Character, Character, then I should have fifteen score. Integer. Um, I think that's all. Okay, so I'm coming back here. I want to make this my foreign key table. Please, someone should open the door. Like I'm sweating. Are you not sweating? Huh? Okay, let me break it down. Is it okay now? Yeah, I'm trying to apply constraints, yes. Mm. Exactly. Yes, madam. References, human resources. D 
dot students one right what's the name of that column that will apply that primary key are you sure huh I'm coming madam I share students ID Please, someone should confirm for me. Huh? It's better now. Everybody can see the board, right? Okay, no problem. I know where to confirm from. Okay, this is how to create a foreign key table. Okay, so what I did here is create table, then the table name, the columns I want, ID, and the column I want to apply my foreign key constraint is on my ID column. Okay, I'm giving it a constraint name called fk underscore ID. Hello, then foreign key, that's the name of the constraint I'm applying. References, which table is it referencing? The human resources dot students, I, uh, students one, right? Then, on which column that has the primary key, reg number? Then with this, I'm done with the column, comma, course, character, and all that. So this is it. So this is how to apply constraints on your table. <laughs> so now, for me to query my two table that has primary key and foreign key, I'll just select all from the table name. Okay, dot students. So enter, select all again. From the table name again. Okay, dot um, record. So I'm querying the two at the same time as a Q10. Okay, I've not added any value for my own, Abby. Yes, but those of you that have added value. So let's use join. Like I said, we use join to retrieve data from tables that have common attributes, okay? Or that share that has relationship. I get what I'm saying. So now let's query and retrieve data from these two tables. We'll just select okay. Select reg number, comma, first name, comma, course, okay, gender, comma, then lecturer, comma, All right. From the table name. What's the first table name? Yes, 
then join the second table name let's hold on so everybody can follow right Abby dot the second table name so like the join table will have the on clause it's always with the on clause on um reg number equals to id okay though i've not inserted values in my table Okay. This is what I wanted. Now, if you notice, this other table, because maybe I use the normal join, it returns empty rows and empty columns for me, right? But it returns the column, but empty rows. Maybe I apply the full outer join. It returns all the whole data with the matching rows in the other table. But remember, mind you, in my other um, record table, I did not have any values in added. Do you understand? Yes, that's the reason why it's giving me the same number of values in these two tables, but... The other one, I don't have a value. It's going to return words for it. No. So this is how the join works. It's going to be treated from the two tables and bring it out together in one result set as one word. As if you're coining it out from one table. Do you understand? So that's how join works. So now let me go back and insert values into this my table. Remember, I've not inserted value into my own table. So let me do insert. Okay. Let me use the other way to do. I really need it to be fast. So, using the GUI method to insert values into a table, you do He's just hold on. I'm looking for my what do you have? Who said error? There's there won't there won't be any error, okay. So come here, I right click, I go to edit top two hundred rows. So it brings me here. So let me insert my values. One o o one. Cause um, let's say I have logic. Then the other one I have logic. Then the other one lecturer I have Frank. Then here I have score. Then here I have one o o two. Then I have office. Then I have glory. Then I have score, which is this. Then for the other one, I have one o one o o three again. So I have Python. So here I have Glory again. Gloria, faculty Gloria underscore is. Then this I have one o o one o o five. I have. Java, <laughs> Java, then 
I have Devi. I have this color as this. So it's gave me an error message because there's no record called for 1006 on the primary key table. So let me change back to 1002 or 3. So let's go back. So now I have inserted my records and that's all. Alright, so now let me re execute this again and see what I will have. So now I have records here. So that's what this allow you to do. This is how to insert values on a foreign key table and also how to avoid errors and how to avoid errors in using the foreign key table. Okay? Yeah, thank you very much. I think I'll stop here for today. Um, if there's any comment or anything that is not clear, please try to attach it on the comment section and next I come back I will address it. Thank you.